This ain't gonna be easy. If I can do it with these stupid sis, you can do it too. <gasps> oh god, Chloe. Oh, you Chloe. Okay. Ah, uh, it's recording. Good. Hey guys, we are watching some results videos today. Sorry it's been a while. I've been really busy working on my new program which is coming out in a few days so watch out for that. Now smash the thumbs up button and let's watch some videos. Oh damn, <laughs> that look hard. <laughs> that look hard, but yeah, just keep eating. The out was <laughs> the side. Oh, that look hard. And that's the workout guys. Is that how you guys are? Eating snacks so you can be a snack? So I did the two-week ab challenge and I'm like, okay girl, Chloe Ting, she got something going on. Mm. So I said, okay, when's this new next challenge come out? And then it did. The 2020, <laughs> 2000, 2020, 2000. Shred challenge. Quarantine happened, your girl fell off. I was an avid gym goer, okay? My booty was fat. And now it's looking oh, nice. not so fat. My booty got smaller. That's what I'm trying to say. Pop up on the website. There was five video. <laughs> five videos for the first day, girl. You trying to kill me? Come on, this a warm up and a cool down. They're not really considered as a workout. You gotta do warm ups and cool down every time you work out, right? Day one was ridiculous. Child, I was not ready. Miss Ting hit me with that surprise. You out of shape workout. You can see a couple times where I'm just staring at the screen because that's the exercise is so damn hard. That was a pretty big wake up call for me, and that was only the first video, girl. Oh my god. The exercises were so hard that I was some, at some point in the video, I was just looking at her like this. <laughs> is that what you guys do? You just watch me work out and chill? So eventually, I decided, you know what, I'm not gonna see results with this, so I modified it. So anytime there was an exercise that was way too hard for me, yes, you go. I started jogging on the spot you or go, doing high knees. Now, y'all know. I gotta hold these bad boys up when I'm jogging, so it's kind of difficult. <laughs> High support sports bra. That's gonna help. I really like the tiny waist and round butt exercises, but it only showed up at day two, and then didn't show up again till day 18. Huh? Girl, I thought we tried to build a booty, but I guess I guess not. You're doing the wrong program, girl. This is not a booty program. This is a summer shred challenge. This challenge is meant to be for losing weight with a good diet. This challenge was very abs, core, upper body focused, which is awesome because not many exercises challenges have that. And my arm strength was lacking, girl. All in all, I do enjoy her workouts. I absolutely love her. She is the sweetest little girl. She, she ain't little. Am I a little girl? <laughs> well, to be fair, I'm pretty small. <laughs> <laughs> and I really had fun doing this challenge, but I just personally was not motivated. Oh and wow, that, your results are amazing! Weird. That's weird for a cold team workout, but that's a big change. That's right. Yo. Now, do I think we should do it? Of course. Okay, guys, you need to know what your goals are and pick the right program according to your goals. So if you are trying to build a booty, then choose the booty program. If you are trying to build some muscles, maybe try the Get Fit program. Obviously, you gotta eat in surplus. A little bit in surplus if you want to build some muscles. And also, if you are trying to lose weight, then the summer stretch challenges are great for that. So just pick the right program according to your goals. If you have any doubts, check out the FAQ section of my program page. Quarantine killed my drive to exercise. I just sort of stopped cold turkey and I sort of got what I felt was very soft. Um, and because my surgery is coming up, pretty soon. Surgery. I really wanted to try something just to get my body surgery. back in a little better shape, just to be stronger for the surgery because me. it's going to be a more complicated surgery than I originally expected. Basically, I have to have two surgeons involved, one to remove endometriosis and one to potentially do a colon resection. And I just wanted to get myself in a better shape so that I'm stronger for the surgery so that I can recover quickly and well. So I decided to try the Chloe Team two week shred because I felt like that was something that I could commit to. <laughs> two weeks is two weeks, it's not that big of a deal. It's really good that you're trying to improve yourself before the surgery, good on you. And I will say too that I did this workout with a 10 centimeter ovarian cyst <gasps> in my abdomen, which is like the size of a grapefruit, plus another one that's a little that bit big. smaller, and then one that's the size of like a large egg pushing on my tailbone. Oh my so if I can do this with three yes. large cysts, you if she can do it, it, you can do it. <laughs> so I'm super proud of myself. Of course, listen to your body. Don't 
force yourself to work through pain. Obviously, do the best that you can, but I just wanted to show you guys how I was able to succeed, get stronger, and have some pretty good results in just two weeks, and I'm so excited. So, without further ado, let me show you the results. Guys, if you have any sort of condition, please speak with the doctor with what exercise you can or you can't do. So I just want to point out that she did modify a lot of the exercises to suit her because of her condition. So make sure you guys are safe. It is really important to be safe. Always speak to your doctor, all right? And because I have such bad bloating issues, a lot of people thought that I have and the more triosis endometriosis endometriosis i haven't actually got myself checked so i'm not sure but i don't think i have it i i just want to be positive that i don't have it because i do have history of lots of cysts and lumps in me so but looking at her results she looks really good so for the front view wow. you can definitely see a lot more definition in my abdomen but i feel like the best results are in the side view definitely because it just you can side, tell i'm so 100%. much less bloated and poofy than i was before i'm super super happy so i feel like i can tell a huge difference in definition my obliques oh, are coming in good. and this is not me flexing like this is me flexing <laughs> So just standing normally, like I can get a lot more definition in my abs. Yes, this here is like side. where the cyst is. I wish that I could bring that in, but it is what it is, you guys. The love handle area has gone down a lot. And then I just feel so much stronger overall. My arms, my legs, everything. Thank you, oh, Chloe, amazing. because I feel like such a bad ass. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel so much stronger. She's like, so I'm cute. She doesn't want to say badass. And I hear, yeah, I am swearing all the time. Speak. So that's why I did the two week shred. I'm just really happy. If I can do it with these stupid cysts in my abdomen, Aww. you can do it too. It's not about getting skinny or slimmer or getting your six pack abs. It's all about just becoming a stronger body and a stronger person and even a stronger really? person mentally too. Someone left me a comment recently about how she feels after doing my workouts. It's not the physical changes that made her really happy. It's the mental changes that made her feel happier and stronger. So I'm so happy that people are feeling that way. It's not always about how your body looks. It's about how you feel. I feel like that's so much more important. So check out Jessie's channel if you want to know more about her journey. She seems like a really nice girl. So go ahead and show her some support. This was my physique back in April 2020. I lived my best life and gained 10 pounds in the year after traveling as a flight attendant. I got very discouraged and put in hard work for three months. I lost 13 pounds and posted every results video on my channel. I'm excited for Chloe's weightlifting program and achieve small fitness goals along the way. Let's do this. 21 day get fit challenge was tough on the body but super fun. I went hiking and tried the workout with my best friend with no equipment. I was able to complete all five of Chloe's workouts with dumbbells with the exception of one exercise, the roll-up squat. I just can't seem to get it right, but I'll keep working on it. You need a bit of more core strength for that one. I'll complete some of the exercises. It's normal. Just keep trying your best yeah, and you'll right, definitely man. get stronger. Just keep Thank you so much, Chloe, for creating amazing free workout programs for all of us. I'm quite obsessed with your challenges and repeat them before your next release. Yep, what? I'm kind of crazy. In this get fit schedule, some of the workouts had to be repeated on the same day. So yep, I pretty much died for the 21 days, but I knew that it will be worth it at the end. Thankfully, I had my fiance join me <laughs> on the workouts and he supported me every day of this challenge. He knows exactly how much I want to improve on my fitness and achieve crazy you goals. So, so he cute. always pushed my limits since the beginning of my journey. Not gonna lie, I feel like I built so much strength with this program, especially with the help of Chloe Ting's heavy resistance bands. I used them for every exercise that required the bands. I'm so proud to complete Chloe Ting's Get the Challenge and now for my final results. This is my physique on day 21. I lost two pounds, which makes it 15 pounds total. Two pounds may seem little, but it's also because I gained muscle during this yeah. challenge. I kept my protein intake muscle high and was on a caloric deficit for four months. Still am. My body has transformed so much after hard work, consistency, so and patience. You if you want maximum results, what? you gotta breed fitness both physically and mentally. Don't let anyone stop you from working hard and achieving oh, your goals. So Focus on you and ignore all distractions. Wow, you're so motivational. I don't think I have anything else to add. <laughs> oh 
I'm so impressed. I'm so happy for you. I love how you have done it at your own pace and have done multiple programs. And yeah, results takes time. Like it's not gonna come overnight or over like after a week or two weeks. It can take months, take a year. And lifestyle changes takes time. Small and steady changes is so much more sustainable than a quick fix, a quick change, because then you'll revert back to your old habit or or your old lifestyle. So I like how she's doing it. Check out her channel guys to follow up with her journey. I'm gonna be sharing with you my progress and my results for my 25 day hourglass challenge. Just wanted to remind you guys Ooh, that beauty challenge. is from within. Your appearance, your body shape does not define your beauty. Beauty is about how you treat others. It's about your heart, your energy, and your aura. So just remember that while watching these fitness videos that beauty isn't defined within one certain body type. It's really how you act and how how you treat others so always be kind and be a good freaking person so true hey bitch lasagna today is day one i'm gonna do the tiny waist round butt video <laughs> so cute Day one of the hourglass challenge. Done, done, done. We did that. Sh I did it. <laughs> Here we are. Day <laughs> you did four. it. Can't believe we're only four days in. Day eight of the 25 hour. 25 hour workout, guys. <laughs> 25 day hourglass challenge. Oh, oh, fabric is too bad, girl. Day nine. Get off my map. Love you. Little pug. Oh, you want friends with me? Can you sit somewhere else? Why don't you sit right in front of the camera? Oh. <laughs> Hello, it is day 25, the last day of the hourglass challenge. I did not do this challenge in 25 days. It probably took me about 40 days, that's so okay, you finished it. I'm not expecting too much for my results. I won't be mad if I don't because that's all on me. You look so good. I definitely noticed that my waist slimmed down Holy and my hip dips weren't as prominent, but I also noticed that I actually lost a lot of fat in my booty. I wouldn't say that that's because of the workouts. I would just say that that's because I had been struggling to eat regularly and eat though. enough the last few weeks. So around. that was definitely more of a diet thing. Growing your booty, yes, is about the workouts, but it is so much about how mm -hmm. much you eat and what you eat. Like you need to be in a that's calorie right. surplus if you want to grow your butt and you need to be eating lots of protein which I have been struggling with the past few weeks, but we're definitely working on that. We coming back, y'all. I am happy with my results. I do notice that I feel much more toned. I feel a lot lighter and healthier and just stronger and more confident in myself. A, a huge part of it is how I feel and working out every day or at least almost every day, it has really helped with boosting my mood and making me feel happier, more vibrant and me feeling that way allows me to be more productive throughout the day. I get a lot of comments how people feel guilty that they missed a day or they took a longer rest time. Don't be. Go at your own pace because sometimes you just have other things to worry about instead of working out or the workout is too difficult. So you gotta take a longer rest time and that's totally fine. At least you're trying and that's the most important part. You're trying and you're feeling happier. Okay, so do what fits your schedule. It's okay. I decided I wanted to challenge myself Physically, because during social distancing, I did nothing but stay at home and eat. Ooh, I actually asked my best friend, Ariana, sweet. to do this 28-day summer shred challenge with me. And I think there's no better way to do a challenge than to do it with your best friend. Bring me up to his level and then... FaceTime workout. Your neighbors. Yes. I love how I can always see her friend's food though. It's measurement time. So let's get it started. My measuring tape here. Wow. Let's start with the yeah, bust. Really so before it was 86 centimeters. 85. 85 centimeters. Looks like it's about 69 centimeters. I think it's 67.5. I'm gonna do the left handle area. Nice. 83.5. I have exactly 80 centimeters. Next is oh, that's a lot. hips. I think I did it around, around here. Right. 97 centimeters. 96, I think. So for thighs, I have 55.5, 54 centimeters, I think. I guess my arms is about 30 centimeters. 
28 centimeters exactly almost i can't Come believe a little we, bit everywhere. we did it we finished it and i'm so happy that i decided to do it with ariana in the end um and i'm so happy that she decided to do it because i don't know if i would have been able to do this by myself <laughs> on some days that i was just dying i didn't want to do it but ariana was messaging me being like 8 p.m we're gonna work at 8 p.m so else. gave me the motivation <laughs> To do it and now that it's kind of like in my routine i really enjoy doing it and i look forward to doing it and i might not see huge results but i feel better you know honestly i didn't change my diet in any way i live in a really, really you know a japanese apartment so people live below me and i mean i didn't get any notice on planes so i think that's a good thing i tried to not do as many jumping things as possible because you know my neighbors i think she did really amazing considering she didn't do the very high impact exercises now let's check out her friend ariana my weight journey has been that of somewhat kind of up and down throughout the years over the last few months i've been self-isolating it's been a lot of being at home for me I feel like I have lost my motivation. So maybe taking on this kind of challenge will be very good for getting that motivation and that routine back into my life. All right, so through the mirror, this is probably my most comfortable workout wear. This is just from Uniqlo. They're not super high-waisted, but I pull them up high-waisted. I'm not super well endowed up top, but I do have some curves. Thigh gap, don't know her. <laughs> I don't have thigh gaps as well. Don't worry about it, man. I don't know how she's doing. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know how she's moving her body. I don't feel graceful at all. That workout was really hard. There was a lot of things that I couldn't even complete, and I had to do the low impact for a Just lot of it because I am a person who looks like they're in better shape than they actually are because I have <laughs> That's so like, funny. probably not as much muscle as I should. I have water things. No. Lots of ice. No. Please. <laughs> get her some water. Don't get her dehydrated. Okay, that's really nice. This kills me. Oh, you Chloe. Excuse me. Mm? Oh, this one sucks still, Chloe. A thousand reps. <sighs> oh God, Chloe. <sighs> This has been a really interesting journey because even after we finished, Jen and I decided that we're going to continue on and just restart the summer challenge and just do it again. So I can show you some videos and pictures of my before and after. To be honest, from my before and after, when it comes to my weight, there was no change. What I mostly wanted to do was base this on measurements so that I could see the change in the mm -hmm. tone of my body by adding exercise like this into my life. Wow. So you lost a centimeter on your bust, your arms, 4 cm on your waist. That's a lot. That's amazing. And 7 cm on your hips, 2 cm on your bum, and 3 cm on your thighs. Although she didn't see much changes in her scale, you can clearly see that she has lost inches, which is amazing. Because sometimes when you do workouts like HIIT workouts or you know resistance training, you're gonna build a bit of muscles. I didn't expect to have a significant difference mm -hmm. because I'm not a very big person. I can but see what so I was looking for was more tone. And area. something that actually my husband brought up was that he noticed in one of the pictures, which I'll put here, my posture was better. And I do know that I suffer from nerd neck. Nerd neck is the way that you carry your neck and shoulders and head on your body from the way you no, sit very or stand when you're looking <laughs> at your computer. I didn't even notice that my posture got better, especially up in my neck and shoulders. Am I completely shocked at my results? No, because I don't feel like I had a big difference like some people have when they do this challenge. Am I happy with the results and the other benefits that I have received from it? Yes. Do I want to continue? Yes. Do I want that cute pillow behind you? Yes. During rainy season, I actually haven't even been getting out walking so often. So I've been purely focusing on the Chloe Ting challenge and I haven't changed my diet like at all. So this is purely based on just adding the Chloe Ting exercises into my regimen. And I do speculate that I would probably have more of a difference if I did more of the higher impact in exercises. They had really amazing results given that they did mostly low impact exercises. And I like the fact that they are keeping each other accountable.
accountable, which makes it so much more fun and easier. So not everyone can commit to working out and changing their diet at the same time. So go at your own pace, start with low impact and later on you can add some high impact exercises to the workout. I hope these videos have shown you that everyone's progressing at a different rate and everyone's journey is different. So don't compare yourself with another person. Okay, that's it for today's video. I just want to give one last shout out to this beautiful human being, Maiken. I came across her Instagram post some time ago and reposted her photo and she ended up with thousands of messages and love from you guys. I've seriously never gotten so much love. People were just just throwing so much love on me. Chloe wrote to me that she was so proud of me. And the weird thing is that this day, which was yesterday, was my grandmother's funeral. So all of this love, I mean, I could have not have gotten it on a better day. I want to talk to as many of these wonderful people that wrote to me yesterday as possible. I just want to give her a shout out so you guys can check it out. She talks about what she ate, what she did, her results. And she also talked about how she got some hate because of the photo that I reposted. Anyways, she's such a sweetheart, so I'll let you guys watch her video. All links to everyone's video is in the description. We've also got a brand new two-week shred coming up in a few days, so watch out for that. So smash that thumbs up button, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video, which is the two-week shred video. Bye!